Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So Young Miami is accused of harassing a woman to get rid of Diddy's unborn baby. In a new lawsuit filed today, September 27th in New York, Jane Doe alleges she was impregnated by Diddy during sexual assaults that occurred between 2020 through 2024. During an incident in April 2022, Jane Doe claims she was compelled to ingest an unknown substance which caused her to black out. She was then allegedly forced to have vagina intercourse without her consent, which resulted in a pregnancy. Diddy and his staff allegedly recorded their sexual encounters without her consent. The victim feared for her safety and experienced anxiety and depression. The lawsuit also names Diddy's ex-girlfriend, Young Miami, a former City Girls rapper. In court documents, Young Miami, a.k.a. Carisha Brownlee, allegedly harassed Jane Doe by repeatedly calling her and telling her to have an abortion, uh, get rid of it, pretty much. Shortly thereafter, Jane Doe took a pregnancy test, which was positive. Jane Doe informed Diddy of the positive test. Carisha Brownlee a.k.a. Young Miami, harassed Jane Doe by repeatedly calling her and telling Jane Doe to have an... Uh, mm -hmm. Jane Doe suffered a miscarriage and did not speak to Diddy or his team for approximately three months. Jane Doe's attorney, Marina Poli, said in the statement, Powerful figures in the entertainment industry have long exploited aspiring artists and fans. Recent high-profile lawsuits aim to hold these celebrities accountable, potentially transforming industry practices and providing justice for victims. Fame and wealth do not protect Sean Diddy Combs from serious allegations of SEX trafficking and abuse. Young Miami distanced herself from Diddy after agent with Homeland Security raided his homes in Miami and Los Angeles. You know, this isn't the first time Young Miami was named in a lawsuit file against Diddy. She was also named in a lawsuit filed by music producer Rodney Little Rod Jones earlier this year. Jones accused Young Miami of transporting pink cocaine for a ditty across state lines. But Young Miami denied the allegations, of course. Diddy was arrested in Manhattan on September 16th and a 14-pitch indictment unsealed on September 17th. Diddy was charged with racketeering conspiracy, SEX trafficking by force, fraud, or coercion, and transportation to engage in prostitution, kidnapping, and arson. He has been denied bail twice and is being held on a special housing unit at a Brooklyn Federal Detention Center. A source close to Diddy denied reports that he stopped eating because he feared being poisoned by prison staff. They said it's not true. Diddy is eating three meals a day plus snacks, okay? And according to reports, Diddy is living in the same unit of a Brooklyn jail as Sam Bankman Fried, you know, the crypto guy who was convicted of fraud. Yeah, him. So they're sleeping in a dormitory style room with a group of other jailmates assigned to the same section, according to a person familiar with the living arrangements. Perfect roommates. That guy's a crook. Diddy is a crook as well. He was stealing all his artist publishings. So, yeah, perfect. Oh, did you know that Diddy's lawyer said that Diddy cannot wait to testify in court? <laughs> I'm telling you, narcissists, because they're such a, they're liars. They are well-known liars. They are liars. 
did lie just to lie. So yeah, I can see him in the courtroom lying his butt off. You see, narcissists like Diddy, they like to put on a show. Oh, it's going to be a show in that courtroom. And they think, they think, see, Diddy think he's such a good liar that he's going to be able to convince everyone. He thinks he's going to fool the jurors. That's how they think. They think they are the smartest and they think they are the best person to defend them. No one else can defend them better than they can. So yeah, that's why I think he wants to testify because he feel like he's such a great liar that he's gonna fool everybody. Uh-uh-uh, we don't think so. If you thought that Amber Heard's performance was crazy and the whole Johnny Depp's trial, oh, wait till you see Diddy's performance because we haven't seen anything yet, okay? Amber Heard's performance was ridiculous, but wait till you see Diddy's. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, these people, oh my gosh, they live in a fantasy Seriously, they think they're smarter than they really are. A lot of them are idiots, pure idiots. You know, they think they look better than they actually look. You know, they think they're the best looking thing in the world and they're not. A lot of times they're like, wait, what mirror are you looking at? Let me stop. <laughs> but yeah, it's going to be a show. Oh my gosh, get your popcorn ready. If, if. He makes it to trial because there's a real danger that Diddy will not make it to trial. Plus, with the evidence they recovered in that mansion, mm, I don't know, guys. I don't know. I don't know. So, yeah. And plus, Diddy's lawyer, something about this guy, as I said in my other videos, Diddy's lawyer, something is just like... I don't know if the case is too hard for him because it is that bad of a case. But I feel like this guy is going to lose this case because with all the things that he's saying as a lawyer, it's like now he's talking about they're trying to take a black man down. Oh, my goodness. You know what? I'm going to do another video on that and that lawyer because that lawyer, I don't know if he's sabotaging this case. I don't know if he, I don't know, but I will make another video because it's too much. It's too much. All right. You guys, what are your thoughts on this entire situation? Leave your comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe. Thank you for the support and I will see you on the next one. Peace.